boy, it's Chibber! And let's talk about another Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Samurai Creed. Or a Samurai Creed. Would it even be Assassin's? Well, it's not like it can't be. Ghost of uh, Tsushima is like the closest thing to that. Or how about an Assassin's Creed Japan? But there isn't really anything else, seeing as they can be Vikings, right? They can be pirates. Samurai are much closer to actual assassins than anything else. Like, if they were to have an assassin's Japan, then I would kind of see that being more along the lines of a shinobi, which is just a ninja, and they are fundamentally different than samurai. But it is a very interesting idea, uh, but I think that a lot of people would be much more interested in something along the lines of this. Oh my goodness, imagine Ronin, oh that would be a perfect Assassin's Creed, and that would justify the new combat chains that the recent games have had. They're not even like Assassins anymore. The only reason that they're still connected to the games are the, uh, what are they? There's the Hidden Blades, which we didn't even see any of in the recent Ubisoft conference, or not that I believe. And then there are, there's lots of Hawks now, I don't remember, I guess that became a staple after the third, but Hawks aren't what make Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. Uh, what else was there? There's also the vantage points and whatnot, which they still have, and I'm going to like, I like it. The, the exploration is great and everything, but it's not fundamentally an Assassin's game, and I think something like this, you can see the... His straw hat is covering his face, just like an assassin's. Maybe you put that on to hide. Since, you know, wearing a hood, it, they could make it work, but I think that the hat would be a much more creative way. Either way, there's many different aspects, you know, different areas they could explore, but I think that they're doing it incorrectly at the moment, especially with the recent Valhalla. Vikings, cool, nothing wrong with that. You know, they can have lots of ancient warriors, they can explore lots of different landscapes and areas, but I don't really see that holding true to the Assassin's name, which is pretty much a Prince of Persia replacement. Maybe that's why they're trying to bring that back, or at least that's what I hear rumored, because it's deviated so far from its initial concept that they can't justify calling it Assassin's Creed anymore. It's just... It's just Valhalla. It's not Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's just literally... Valhalla. They can, well, I guess it's the IP having, you know, it's still similar in some aspects to previous Assassin's Creed games, which is why they're not abandoning it yet. And there's also the uh, factor that it's incredibly marketable, so more people are going to buy it, especially if you stamp one of their Assassin's logo on it, the uh, Creed symbol then yeah, that's definitely going to push more units than a new IP, or at least that's what they think. I think that they could probably go in a different direction without people just labeling it, oh, it's another Assassin's Creed, I played Origins, I'm good. Because, in a sense, you're kind of right, it hasn't changed too much from Origins. And if you're comparing it to Odyssey, it definitely hasn't changed uh, much at all. So, I don't know. If they really innovate going into the next generation of consoles, then sure, like, I won't mind that at all, but for the time being, Ghost of Tsushima is Assassin's Creed uh, Samurai. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Chunky, I'm out. Not a